right, hi guys. Chris from the Fabric Center. It's been a while since I've uh, done a video and Kaylee and I were kind of in the mood today. <laughs> so here we are. Um, today I'm gonna highlight the Brother um, 8500D. Now, this particular machine, this is our floor model. So I'm gonna be talking about that, but I also have 8550s in the box. But let's talk about this machine here. For one, you can tell that the lighting is excellent. Nice and bright. Um, I can see what I'm doing very clearly. I can sew with my embroidery unit on or off. It doesn't matter. It has a nice variety of stitches. A huge screen, about the size of your average tablet would be these days. Mm -hmm. So you can really see what you're doing, which is nice. As with any other computerized machine, it's very easy to select your stitch. You select your stitch, you see it, you, we're off to rock and roll. But some specific features on this machine that I think are awesome is there's my regular straight stitch, but perhaps I'm piecing half square triangles. This machine has a laser. I can come down here to my laser and notice how now it turns on on the bed of my machine. So I can take, say, my two inch block, which I need to be a half square triangle. I can lower this down. I can have my needle pointing here. Now a little bit different guiding. I'm gonna be guiding the point of my laser to the point of my, um, of my square. So then I'm ready to go. Oop, go a little faster, there we go. So I'm following the point so that I end up corner to corner without having to mark a thing. So what a great time saver. If I was doing a half square triangle that I needed to stitch on either side, then I can also move my needle over or even move my laser over so that I can be a quarter of an inch over from my mark and then I still have another mark to go on one side and go on the other. So that is a great innovation on this machine. Now, it also has um, one-step buttonholes for those of you who still do garments. Um, one of the things that crack me up the most about this machine, I'm going to turn off my laser, is that it has sideways sewing. So just this easy. I can go right, left, up, down. I can go at angles. So if I just had to put a little patch on a knee, boy, this makes that job a lot easier and very simple to do. So I'm just going to cut my thread and the foot will come up automatically. Now, when I'm doing my decorative stitches, another thing I love about this machine and the decorative stitches is that they're big. Because of that sideways sewing feature, then the decorative stitches have size to them. Now, I'm going to go back these are categories. So each one of these categories has many stitches. So if I come here, then if you can take a look, each one of these pages is full of stitches. So I have a lot of beautiful stitches to choose from, and then I can make combinations of them. So as I'm going along, if I choose, I could select this guy and look at how large he is. This is 100%. I can then add another design with him if I choose, and I can make my own stitch combinations. Just that simple. Now, this guy is so big that it went down to 50%. So I'm gonna delete him so that I can see a little bit more easily. Now, if I take a look up on here, my screen is giving me lots of information. So it's telling me the foot I need to be using is the end foot, and of course, all the feet are labeled so it says right on the foot the end foot so we'll snap him off we'll snap the new foot on very easy so now if i want to stitch that off if i wanted it to be just those two designs and repeating those two designs i'm going to select my repeat on my screen and now you'll see i'll get one after the other so then we'll just lower this down and you can so that sound is not odd that is that sideways feeding doing its job so 
some of these designs are large enough that you can quilt narrow borders with it right with your machine. And this machine has been printing so quietly. Oh my goodness, really quiet. And there we go into the second design, second repeat. So nice big embroidery designs. Mm -hmm. Now let's switch it over to, to the actual embroidery. So to do that, very simple, I'm going to take off this foot. This is my embroidery foot, so we'll go ahead and attach that. Now I've already had have uh, embroidery thread in the bobbin, and I'm using embroidery thread on the top. One of the nice features with this machine too is it also comes with a spool stand. So I'm all set to use the cones of thread that we're using so often now in quilting and in embroidery. So it that this feature comes right with the machine, not an additional purchase. So now I've attached the foot. The last thing I need to do is just plug the foot in. And there's just a little guy right back here. We're just gonna give that a little push. So now that setup is complete. So I'm ready to go to embroidery. So I'm gonna go home. When you don't know where to go, go home. So we're gonna go home, say okay. So then here are all the categories of places I can go. We've been in sewing, next we're going to embroidery. This machine has a full, just talking to me here, all sorts of Disney designs in it, plus the Pixar design. So, um, each one of these are categories. So if I go just to the mouse himself, whoop, there's Minnie. Or lots and lots of Disney designs programmed in. Now I'm going to go back to just embroidery. Again, these are all categories also. So one of the things I think is the easiest to do in this is lettering. So I'm gonna to come to my lettering feature, look at the fonts. Oh my golly, huge amount of fonts. And I'm just gonna select a font and I'm gonna write in the word brother. Very easy, I don't have to put numbers in, I can just select the letter I want. I'm gonna set that. Okay, I'm good with that, but you know what? Not really crazy about that font. Well, I need to make changes, so I'm gonna edit. If I go to the second page of edit, I'm gonna change my font type. So I'm gonna to go to font type, and then I can then select all the different fonts and see which one I like better. You know what? That's the one that I like, but I'm looking at that. Well, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm good with that. I'm looking at that, but you know what? I want the letter B to be taller. Now I'm gonna to go to a letter edit. I go to letter edit, just the B is selected, and all I'm going to do is make that letter taller. Yeah, you know what? I do want to make them a little bit wider also. So I can individually change each letter too. Very, very simple. A lot of the editing we used to have to do at a computer, we do right at this machine. So I can also hit array and I can arc it like a lot, um, lot of machines. We'll just take it back. Now, there's the name, so I really like that. If I wanted to put a design with this, I'm just gonna go to add, then I'll go to wherever I want or um, bring something in for my USB jump drive if I choose. And But I think we'll just use a built-in. And so, oh, it might be time for a summer cocktail. <laughs> so let's say set on that. And there we go. We're ready to put that um, on something wherever we wanna put it. Now, the machine also though has a great feature. Once I go to embroidery, then it has a camera. I can actually hoop up my fabric. I can see what's on my fabric and I can place this design where I want. Now, I have something already embroidered here, which I'm gonna use later, but I'm gonna use it now so that you can see how this scanning feature works. Now, don't get confused. I just already have this embroidered, but I'm gonna use this, just this hoop, 
so I can place this where I want. So I'm just going to say OK. And I'm going to scan in, using my camera, what's in my hoop. And look at it rack and roll. Okay, so if you take a look, it took a picture of what's in my hoop. This is exactly what's in my hoop. So maybe that's the front of a shirt and this is um, a bottom of a pocket or something and I want this to be. Now look at how easy this is. I can bring this down because I know exactly where it is in my hoop. I can place that design where I need it to be. I can also maybe get a little crazy, go to my rotate, maybe rotate it just a hair if I feel like it needs to, and I can make it just perfect. Then I'm ready to go ahead. Here's my color changes. I'm ready to go ahead and embroider it, and my placement will be spot on. So the camera in this machine makes life so much easier to place a design where you want it to be. So I'm not gonna embroider that. I'm gonna show you another feature on the machine though. And this is probably one of my most favorite parts of this machine. And that is, and anybody who's talked to me before, they know the design center. I love the design center. The design center lets me create my own embroideries or enhance other things that I've done. So since this is on the hoop, first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna have you use your imagination. Let's say for instance, I uh, did some embroideries and I have them all pieced together in a quilt. So the quilt is pieced and then I also have it tacked together. So I'm ready to quilt it together. So I embroider just a square box around this this is illustrating the sides of my block, okay? So I have this hooped. The hoop I'm using right now is the nine and a half by nine and a half hoop, which comes with the upgrade. The biggest hoop this machine can use is nine and a half by 14. It's a monster. So that gives you a lot of embroidery room. So what I'm gonna do is I have this hooped and I want to quilt around my um, what's in my block right now. So what I'm going to do is I've got to first see where my block is at. So I'm going to go to my scan feature and I'm going to hit scan and say okay. So now it's scanning in what's in my hoop. So just like before, basically it's just taking a picture of what I have hooped. So it takes its little time here, scooting along. Couple more passes. So also with this feature, you can, and I'll show you that in a minute, you can also um, create your own embroideries from drawings. And since we have a minute since this is um, scanning, Another feature that you gain are all these additional fonts with this machine, this floor model, with all the upgrades in it. So you can see there's some beautiful fonts, plus there's, there's tons more. Um, this is an illustration of something that I created all in Design Center. So you can even create appliques in Design Center. So, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to quilt. So. Here is what it's scanned in. I'm going to make that slightly darker so that I can see it a little bit more easily. And I'm gonna choose a size or a shape that I need. So I'm gonna go to my shapes and my block is square. So I'm gonna select the square. Now I can make it an outline, I can make it a fill, or I can make it a fill and an outline. So I'm gonna make it a fill and I'm gonna say okay. So now here is my fill. So it's slightly bigger than my block. So I can go to my size key and I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna move it in place to see exactly how much smaller I need to make it. So we'll just, it goes down in tiny little increments like so. So now I have it exactly out to my block. Now the, what, the stitch that it's making right now is a weave fill. So I don't wanna fill this whole thing in with heavy stitches. I want a quilt. 
So I'm going to go to where my choices are. And here is my weave fill. If I choose, I could surround it all with stippling. Yeah, it's a little too boring for what I want to do today. So I'm going to come here where I have more quilting choices. So I'm going to select my quilting choices. I'm going to hit select here and look at all these wonderful quilting choices that I have built right into this machine. So one of my favorites always to use is these circles. I love the circles. We're going to say okay. And so I have the circles selected. I can even tell it that I want it to be red or I could change to another color, but I think that'll be easy for you to see on the screen. And I'm going to say okay. Well, right now it's still a weave fill. I'm going to go to my bucket and that just tells the machine to fill in that area. So now I've filled it in with the circles, but I certainly don't want it to quilt over my embroidery design. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab my eraser. I'm going to choose the size of eraser that I want. And look at that. I can just use my finger and I can erase exactly around what I want to quilt. So then that's just as easy as I need it to be. I'm going to go to next. Here it is. Now in here I can make some changes. So um, here it's asking me if I want to put an outline around it. I don't. So I'm going to turn that off and then we'll set that. Here is the size, here is the angle. I do want to make my bubbles bigger, so I can go up to, yeah, let's go 150% larger. I'm going to set that. I'm going to leave it at angle, but I could make it 60, 45, whatever I choose. I'm going to come here to preview. And then there is my quilting design. So I can see it exactly around my object that I'm wanting to quilt. I'm going to hit set. We're going to change that into an embroidery. And I'm going to hit start. And we'll just get this rolling. We won't do the whole thing. It will take, according to my display, three minutes to stitch. This is my stitch count. Oh, we're going to be bouncing around just a little bit. So hopefully then we'll be ready to go for a little bit longer than that. And there it goes. And you can see that it you would never dream by just erasing on that screen that it's going to finish it off so nicely around the edges. You'd think there'd be weird little stitches connecting it, but no, it does it very clean, very nice, and it will just quilt my block away, which is just phenomenal. Now, you've got to realize that everything I'm showing you on this video, probably you don't want to watch a four hour video, because I can talk about this machine for four hours, really, really simply. But let's go ahead and you get the idea of how this goes i do want to show you one more thing that we can do in design center so i'm going to stop i'll cut it's going to flip that thread out of the way and perfect so now i can take this off but doesn't that look nice you can just imagine how nice that would be around your whole block so then you would re-hoop go to the next block go ahead and center it over the block and quilt that next that next block as you go along so now next thing design center I'm gonna go back to the design center and blank screen so you guys all know what an artist I am and I say that tongue-in-cheek this is something that I drew up and maybe imagine that this is a picture that um, your granddaughter or grandson drew for you for the um for the refrigerator well you can turn that into an embroidery so here's the design and i'm this um, scan screen comes with my magnets are holding it in place i'm going to go ahead slide that on so now i need to take a picture of this so again i'm going to come up here to the scanning feature no i'm not getting my machines confused I want to go to line. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hit line and then scan. And what my machine is going to do is it is taking a picture of my flower and at the same time assigning an outline to it. Now, if my design was a multicolor design, I could hit my multicolor button and it would go ahead 
and assign stitches automatically and according to the color. So now it's going ahead and it's scanning in. The machine comes with a uh, four by four hoop, a five by seven hoop, your um, nine and a half by nine and a half, the um, nine and a half by 14, and also, um, also the scanning mat. And there's um, all sorts of feet. This is the neatest little um, storage for the feet. Everything's well labeled. Everything sticks in there so when it falls down, you're not doing the floor scramble trying to find the feet. Um, another thing that's nice and, and uh, interesting with this machine is this is the walking foot. So when we attach the walking foot to the machine, it actually attaches like the um, embroidery foot does. But why this, is, this attaches is because I can actually change the rate of feed between this foot and my feed dog. So if I had to ease a um, border into a quilt, I can adjust the rate of feed for this in relationship to the feed dogs and have this do the easing for me. And I apologize for bouncing around a little bit here, but it's all good information. So here's what it's scanned in. So now I don't want to embroider my green magnets. So I am going to bring this in like so, so that I've zeroed in on my pretty funky flower here. And I'm gonna say, okay, and I can take a look. That looks good to me. I'm gonna hit set. So now here it is and it actually is stitches. But I don't want it just to be an outline. It could, I could even change that to, again, my stitch choices here. I could run, change that outline from a zigzag to a double run straight stitch to a triple run straight stitch to this little flower star to this little diamond shape. So I could actually change that outline to a different type of stitch. I'm gonna keep it a satin stitch, but I don't want it just to be an outline drawing. So now I'm gonna start assigning stitches to my petals. So I'm gonna go where my choices are and I'm gonna stay with the weave fill. And here is my color spectrum. I think I need a pink flower today. So I'm gonna select pink. And then I need to fill in each petal. So I'm gonna come here to my bucket so that then I can, just that easy, you guys, I'm just putting stitches in each one of those shapes. Now, I need more choices because now I wanna do the yellow center. And you know what? We're gonna get a little funky. I'm gonna to go to my choices. I'm gonna make that yellow center stippling, like so. And then I'm gonna go back to my choices. I'm gonna to go to the green go back to my weave fill. There we go. And I've assigned all the stitches. So now I'm going to go next. So in this screen, in my editing screen, I can make each one of those petals a different stitch direction. I can also add an underlay, which is very important. So here's petal number one. I'm going to come here. I'm going to turn on my underlay and I'm going to set it. I'm gonna leave the stitch direction normal for this one. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna arrow forward to the next one. So now I, need to, I do need to turn on my underlay again. I'm gonna come here to my stitch direction, which says auto right now. I'm gonna to go to manual and it defaults at 45. I think I'll make it 75 and I'm gonna set that. So as I go around, then I can choose each of the different components of this change my stitch direction, which you know if you have done embroidery before, adds more depth and interest to your embroidery. And I can also then, if need be, for what I'm doing, I can also take away density. So these and pull compensation. So if my um, my outline isn't um, fill, uh, getting right along the edges I'd like, I can change the pull compensation also. So a lot of the same things, again, that we had to do at our computer, we're doing right here sitting in front of our sewing machine. Phenomenal. Mm. So once I have all the changes made, I'm gonna go to preview. I'm gonna say, okay. And there's my design. So I'm ready to embroider it. Now, if I don't like something, which you know what, I'm not sure if I like how my, um, 
how my center is, then I can go back. I can return all the way back to this screen and I can choose my color. I can choose my fill. I can go ahead and go right over it. Go to next. We're good there. Preview it. So it even lets you change your mind if you want to. So then once my design is set, you know, I really should be an artist, shouldn't I? Isn't that thing beautiful? <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm going to hit set, say okay, and then here it is ready to stitch. So isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Now, this is probably a, a super, super quick overview of what this machine can do. I mean, a thumbnail of what it can do. So if you're interested in a machine like this, this is not the top of line. The Luminaire is the top of line. But right now we have this machine at such a great price. I hate to say if you've got a, um, uh, you've had champagne taste with a beer budget, this is a nice way to go. Get you a lot of top of line features without that huge top of line price. So um, if you're interested, give me a call, give the store a call, 815-942-5715. Just a reminder, we will be closed on Saturday uh, for the, to celebrate the 4th. So um, if you're interested, got a great price on this. If you would rather not have a floor model, got great prices in a couple that we still have that are new in a box. So um, have a good fourth if I don't talk to you and thanks a lot.